Today in the grain market, soybeans were lower. China continues to buy from Brazil, 41% more than last year. And for the U.S., we have exported 50% less than last year. So those numbers really create a pretty wide chasm. Take that into account as well as we need to export a million and a half tons per week just to keep up with the forecast for the phase one trade deal. Uh, those are difficult numbers to keep up with. Corn slipped today as well. Those May and June gains are completely gone. And right now, futures are threatening that April low of 315 after such a big sell-off yesterday. There is some worries about where these markets can go. Of course, we expected posturing before the June 30th acreage report. We didn't necessarily expect them today. We have a long weekend to go. There are other issues going on, but right now the challenges with the resurgence of the virus is really weighing heavy on the grain market. Even the stock market uh, was lower today too. So that's just one more uh, you know, anchor that's really keeping these markets down. Weed had a sharp drop today. New contract lows since September of 2019 down 16 cents. It just seems like all the outside markets and the fallout from corn and soybeans is really weighing on that wheat market as well. Uh, it's having an effect. And I think that the, uh, the COVID problem and the expansion just has everyone uh, concerned uh, about what the uncertainty is about uh, demand growth. I mean, will there be any or not? I think this uh, volatility was really expected uh, before the uh, report on Monday and Tuesday, it came a little bit early, but there's uh, a number of things in the air that possibly could be some underpinning of the futures right now. But today, uh, generally, it was uh, selling all day long.